Hey everyone, how you doing? Chad here, welcome back to the channel. CK Knife and Tool. I just want to do a quick shout out. I am going to put a shout out here to this young, this fella here, Mr. Peter. Peter B, thank you very much, sir. Um, I don't know if many of you guys, let me get you sorted out here. I don't know if many of you guys even know it. Uh, there we go. But I do on occasion, uh, in between breaks, if, if it's not that complicated, um, I actually do sheaths for other people's knives. I've probably done a, a dozen or so in the last probably three years. And that's only because of the fact that, one, I don't really advertise it, and two, I get pretty busy with doing stuff. Well, Peter, uh, beginning of the year, kind of shout out. And the reason why I picked his knife up it was is because he's a, uh, a, he's a follower of the Howdy Works as well as my own channel now. And uh, he reached out to me and he said he had a knife. Uh, but he needed a sheath for it, and he wanted to see if I could do it. He wasn't in a big rush, so he showed me some pictures of him. Like, yeah, I could do it. You send it out. If you're not in a big hurry, then I'll kind of squeeze it in in between something. And uh, I was just wrapping up some other knives and getting some other things sorted out here in the shop. It's a weekend, and so I thought, well, I would do this while I'm getting some of my Cody Works knives accomplished, and I'll send everything out at one time. And uh, this was uh, Peter's knife. It's not my knife. It's a pretty cool knife, actually. I don't know whose it is. Uh, it's got a pretty neat look to it and everything, but um, it's got some heavy jimping on the back side of it. He says he hasn't used it all, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a fairly comfortable knife. It's a pretty attractive knife, so uh, eh, nice, nice. But uh, I did a sheath for him, in just traditional Coyote Work style. Uh, he wanted to have a knife. Um, he wanted a sheath that he could rotate the tech lock and carry it horizontally, like what Casey likes to do for the Coyote Works. Uh, so I just went ahead and did that. I kicked it out real quick. Uh, he wasn't expecting it this soon, but I'm going to surprise him. So, But uh, I just thought I'd do that because um, a friend of mine, uh, Cody, with uh, the Axe family, um, I don't know if you remember, uh, I had them out. Cody and his wife Taylor, they were out, and they started doing a knife. And when they left, I finished the knife up, and then I sent it to them, and we did a bunch of little video compilations together. Uh, I'll leave some YouTube links down below in the description. You can check those out, or you can check my playlist, and it'll be under Axe family. Uh, the X-Family Knife or something like that, so you can check out those videos that we did. Uh, a little bit of video about how I made it and everything, but Cody was out here a little while ago, and uh, we were chit-chatting and just kind of, you know, you know, using each other as a sounding board and such, and I told him that I do this, but I actually say no to more people than I say yes in getting the sheaths because I get pretty busy, and then I've had some people bring me some really strange-looking knives, and um, definitely outside the realm of what I would ever buy. Uh, they're definitely not, they're definitely all of uh, the hip or, or they got weird blade shapes and such and they're really challenging if not almost impossible to make a really good sheath for. And uh, some of them, some people wanted different straps and well when you pull the knife out you'll cut the strap and that's what ended up happening with some of these knives and I don't touch those knives. I, I It's not that I penalize a person for buying them because everybody buys things that they like but um, like I've always harped before and as I was taught, form follows function. And that is as simple as the knife shape or the design as well as the blade shape and how it fits in a sheath. And if you got a weird knife shape and it's really gaudy and, and kind of like sci-fi looking, I don't even touch those. I don't want the challenge because for me to spend the hours and the material making mistakes and trying to get something that works that I'm pleased with, nobody will be able to afford that. Or would want to pay that kind of money for that. So um, something like Peter's knife here. This was a really easy knife. Uh, it's a really cool design. So I wanted to kick it out for him real quick. But I just figured I'd share that bit of information with everybody. I do do it on occasion. Um, as well as with leather sheaths. I would do that too. Uh, but um, leather sheaths are, you know, they get a little bit more expensive. So most people don't want that. But uh, Peter here, he had a knife. And he needed a, it needed a little, uh, it needed a little pocket to curl up into. <laughs> so... He shot it out to me. It's done. I am going to wrap it up and I'm going to mail it out first thing in the morning. So I just thought I'd share a little bit of information with you guys. Uh, another big shout out to Cody and Taylor. Thank you very much for everything that you've been doing and helping out. It was a really good conversation that uh, Cody and I had. Um, another shout out to Casey. Thank you very much, sir, for all the assistance that you've been lending with everything. That's, uh, that's nice and all you coyotes out there doing it. As well as some of you people that have been jumping on over at the Warrior Poet Society. Um, that, that's awesome. Um, another real quick thing, when this video goes out, uh, most of you have probably noticed that if you went onto my web, website, cknifeandtool.com, there's a six to eight month waiting period before you get your knife. This happened January 1st. So, 
or the second, the first week in January. I had to put that out there. Um, I am looking at more of that eight month period of time. So at this point, I'm on the fence whether I'm just going to shut the books down completely right now and then just open them back up come June, July uh, to see where I'm at. But I got a lot of things going on here. So if you are looking over on the website and you are looking at to buy something, uh, yes, that is not a, uh, a typo. That is true. And uh, it gravitates more for that eight month wait period. So as of January uh, 2019, uh, if you order a knife now, you are not going to probably get it until August, um, maybe September, but August. Uh, but if you do order a knife and you got a question or if you want to order a knife and you have a question, shoot me a question first before you order. I would love the business, but I don't want to take your guys' money, and I don't want you to wait longer than you think you might want to wait, if that makes sense. So anyhow, uh, yes, I just want to look out for y'all. You know, I like to appreciate, I appreciate the business, I appreciate the support, but I don't think uh, um, it would be fair for me to take your money and then push you all that far, far back, unless you want to wait. I just, if you're okay with waiting that eight months, then buy away. I'm all good with that one. But yeah. If if you think you don't if you can't wait eight months to to get a knife then just hold off a little bit things might slow down a little bit more towards the end of the year I'm hoping to have a little bit of time towards the end of uh, summer beginning of fall because I'd like to have enough time to maybe get out four or five knives for Christmas orders uh, so that's the other thing um, I didn't get to do that this year I warned people that the books would close pretty quickly uh, Black Fridays for knife makers custom knife makers like me. Black Friday is usually the end of August, September, right in there, because if you want your knife before Christmas, you know how the mail gets and shipping, so I have to try to finish a knife that first week or that second week of December, and then mail it to you for you to get it in time for Christmas. So people say, oh, Christmas, it's you know, 25 days. No, you got to factor in snail mail, and it gets really balked, you know, backed up and everything bogged down, so if you want a knife December, you have to order it in August or uh, uh, July, August, September, right in there. So, anyhow, guys, I do appreciate it. Thank you, Peter. It's going out tomorrow morning. So, uh, you got, well, by the time you see the video, you got your knife, I'm sure. Uh, anyhow, thanks, everybody else. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, you know, keeps me from the bottom of YouTube bucket. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.